Are you ready for the magical realism between the toy world and our world? It's 1987's Living Down. <laughs> Welcome everybody to a midweek drop. That's where I'm taking the hundreds of old videos and bringing them back. We only have 30 something more to go. Living Doll is a Christmas movie. So I took a break from working on Sunday's Christmas movie to bring you this Christmas movie, Living Doll. It's kind of weird. It's kind of awesome. I mean, this was a real production. Like read the end credits. We got hair, makeup, we got a second camera. How many adult films do you see with a B camera? This is a whole production with tons of stars. And here's the thing. I have to tell you often about all the stars in the picture that are edited out of our clean version. Not this time. Every actor is also playing a toy. Jerome Tanner directed this. Clinton Dark wrote this. Two ghoul guys. That sound like I said ghoul or cool. Two cool guys that actually got their start working together. The first film he directed was also the first film that he wrote, a James Bond spoof for your thighs only. <laughs> Jerome Tanner directed um, the Farmer's Daughter series. Not the Farmer's Daughter that we've done. There was a series, there's a bunch of them, like Farmer's Daughter in Vegas, Farmer's Daughter on the Farm, Daughter Daughter to Go to School. It spans three decades. There's even, because I think the farmer's daughter grew up and has her own daughter. What's it called? Little daughter. <laughs> That's borderline. Anyways, he's directed 220 movies where like 10% of them are have the word farmer in them. Clinton Dark did way fewer and way weirder. Mind trips, rocket girls, living dolls. Obviously, this is kind of like a a writer type writer, <laughs> no offense, no offense. And it's not just real people and their doll counterparts. There's actually some duality going on. Like there's Barbie and Ken and there's Bobby and Len. That is our leads in both worlds. Very imaginative, strange, which I like. I'd say this got pulled two years ago. We released it four years ago. It's back, Merry Christmas. Tons of actors, we're gonna talk about them all when this thing ends. Let's get this ball rolling. It's rated G. Roll the clip. Christmas tree ornaments. Uh, top shelf. Okay. You know, these uh, toys are getting more and more real every year. Like the telescope. Uh, it's a toy, but I, I bet if I hooked it up right, I'd be able to see Uranus. Len! You know, you're such a little boy. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, Len. Look around you. Hey, what the heck's the matter with you? Len! Come on, they're just dolls. They're not made of gold. What was that all about? Oh, it was that new girl working with Len for the holidays. Swung her, her arm, hit, hit toys. toys. They're not just dolls. These dolls are very lifelike. Calm down, Joe. It was just an accident. You were all right, Barbie? Oh, I'm fine, Ken. Thank you for being so concerned. But ain't that sweet? No, no, it's not that really. It. Look, it's the dolls. I, I don't know what it is, but you work here long enough and they start to seem real to you. I, I know it's straight weird. Glenn, you're a real dork. Look, let's get back to work, okay? From now on, just stay away from this shelf. Okay. Come on, guys, cut it out. Stop fighting, life's too short. She's right, one day you'll get sold. And little kids will be pulling off your arms and stuff. And then you'll end up in the garbage. Ex-toys. So why don't you shake hands? Come on, shake hands. Do it. That's my 
more like it. Go ahead home, Bobby. I'll finish up. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. And now, the witching hour is upon us when the toys come out to play. Every night it's the same thing. My dear, I think you're the loveliest dancer in all the world. Oh, I think you were brilliant in the revolution. The lady. Take these 20s, go to the bank, and get me some singles. Okay, sure. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, um, I'm looking for uh, some toys for my little girl. Are you married? Yeah, you're next month. Oh, how old is your daughter? Six months. You know, uh, you uh, look kind of familiar. Yeah, uh, we w went to high school together. <gasps> no kidding, you went to Nixon, huh? Yeah, I, I had you in biology. Do you know who I married? Bill Nordoff, the football captain? I wish. Algernon Harrigal. A science teacher? Wow. Good morning, everyone. Where's Joe? Yes, Joe is a loud mouth. Maybe... Maybe what? Maybe he got sold while we were sleeping. Can they do that? Can they sell you without telling you? Barney, it's a toy-eat-toy -toy world out there. That's horrible! I said you didn't. Hey, maybe Jack knows where he is. Hey, Jack! <laughs> please, please, don't abuse my box! Barbie. <laughs> hey, Jack. You know where Joe is? He woke me in the early hours. He said, do it. Well, I'll be back safe and sound without a scratch. And he took off another shell to get himself a cabbage snatch. Hey. Oh. oh, poor little kid. Good morning, boys and girls. Ben, how did you get over here with Teddy and Ballerina? <sighs> ah, good morning, Barbie. Did you sleep well? Oh, I know I must seem pretty silly standing here talking to you, but I can't help it. You seem so real to me. Real girls are such idiots anyway. But you, Barbie, you're like the perfect girl. I wish I could meet you someday. Oh well, have a nice day. Oh my God. Well, good morning, Mr. Psycho. And how are things in the doll world today? Bobby, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to know you are really pathetic. Bobby, look, don't tell anyone about this, please. <laughs> in love with the doll. <clears throat> Ah, oh, may I help you? Oh, quite possibly. I'm looking for a toy for my girl. Something that's fun but sturdy. Something that'll last a while. Something that could keep her busy while her daddy's away on business. And how old is your little girl? Eighteen. Why not sell him a doll? A doll? Bobby. What kind of dolls? Oh, she's just kidding around, but we have some nice train sets. Uh, no, actually, I think I would be more interested in your dolls. Show him one. Okay. We have a, a toy soldier. Mm-hmm. Um, a ballerina. Yes. Soldier Joe. Mm -hmm. A Barbie and Ken. Mm -hmm. A Barbie and Ken. Um, 
a Jack in the Box. Oh, I like him. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, yes. You say your dolls are very lifelike? No, no. Len thinks the dolls are very real. As a matter of fact, Len thinks the dolls are real. I caught him talking to them this morning. He thinks that Barbie is the perfect girl. Is that so? Bobby, I'm sorry about this. Uh, not to worry. It's none of my business. What are you trying to do? Scare all the customers away? Me? Me? You're the psycho. You take that back right I'm now. Psycho, psycho, psycho. Just relax, Len. Don't worry about where you are. You've been so good to us all these months. And now the witching hour is here again. The toy store playtime scene. All the toys are gathered round, checking out the new toys that have been found. There's Barbie's cousin and one for Ken. Two new dolls called Bobby and Lynn. There's Barbie's cousin and one for Ken. Two new toys called Bobby and Lynn. Hey! <laughs> Lenny? Yoo-hoo! Lenny! I decided you were right. I want to get those action figures for my little girl. Lenny! Jeez. Hmm. God, that looks real familiar. Sort of looks like... Uh... <laughs> no, no. Did see that is like really silly. <sighs> silly. I just have to come back later. Merry Christmas. Did you like that production value? I did. Randall Paul, Amber Lynn, that's Bobby and Len. They're our shop, our shop owner, his employee. Jack Baker plays the rap in the box. I don't think they call them that. The Jack in the box, the rapping Jack in the box. Dual role. He comes to the shop as a human and he wants to buy himself. And he's the one that transports them. What's he say? He says like, pow or bam. <laughs> and some sweet 80s graphics, not graphics, but tra a transition brings them into the world. That's pretty cool. Is it Taja or Taja? I honestly don't know. Barbie's Taja Ray, possibly Taja Ray depending on if you're in America or over the behind. And Steve Drake is Ken. She's kind of uptight. And like in that side story, you know, she's the uptight little Barbie who comes into her own. You can kind of tell that in our version. Some of the narrative was during places, scenes, I can show you. But who else, who? Shannon McCullough, Herschel Savage, Joey Silvera, Shannon Mitchell, can't even tell, she's the robot. Uh, Joey Silvera is the little drummer boy. Shannon McCullough is the teddy bear. Herschel Savage is the army man. Who am I forgetting? Chauvin Hunter is the ballerina. That's a huge cast. The customer in the shop, Nina Hartley. Sorry that I'm not gonna go stand up there, but Nina Hartley, I'm sorry I forgot you. Everyone in this movie does a great job. Did you see the, the old intro on this? Why this was pulled? Why there wasn't enough transformation? My old intro was like less than five seconds. Hey, it had um, the title card behind me. That doesn't count for transformation. All right, Merry Christmas, midweek drop. 
31 more to go. So now 30 to go. Uh, 30 more to go. My name's Jason. I'm from Barefoot. I love doing this for you guys. I hate mystery science theater and riff tracks more than anything on earth. I'm just sharing that with you because I get so mad during the holidays and I just deleted my tweet. And so I have to get it. Uh, I have to get it out there somehow. Boy, do I hate that. I hate it so much. And sometimes people confuse it with Joe Bob. They think they're on the same level and they're like, Oh, you like that, man. You, you must like this. And I'm like, Oh my goodness. You were literally talking about the top and the bottom. No, I don't like it. But that's okay. It's very popular. And who, the ears listening to my words, you're probably like, Oh man, I like that stuff. You can like it. I cannot like it. It's Christmas time. Don't subscribe. Don't like, don't share. Just watch. I'll see you in a couple of days with a banger. Oh, you want some speaking of. So I just finished Don't Open Until Christmas. I just finished it. I was working on the script before I came up to talk to y'all. And when it ended, I can't think of the director's name, but when it, when it ended, if you were going to watch on Shutter uh, last, oh, this, this Christmas special. Um, if you're going to watch this Google Tide get together, the first one is don't open till Christmas. And if you watch the last segment and when the, when the end roll is done, he says, this director who I can't think of only made two more films after this slaughter high and living Dow. And I was like, hmm? Not the one that we just watched, but isn't that a weird coincidence? Um, just thought I'd share.